All right, really quick before we get into the video, I know a lot of you guys are really looking forward to watching my top five essential playmaking badges video, and I wanted to let you know that that video is coming out very soon. Now, I do need a little bit more time to grab all of the analytics and make all of the charts and graphs just like how I did in my last video, and I want to make sure that it turns out really good because a lot of you guys are really looking forward to that video. Now, I didn't want to make you guys wait too long before my next upload, so I thought why not make this quick video while I'm still working on some of those playmaking badges. So I'm bringing you guys this video today. If you do enjoy it, you already know what to do. Make sure to like the video, leave a comment down below, and hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. Enjoy. All right, so when it comes to creating your player in 2K, there's usually three reasons why someone would choose a left-handed player over a right-handed player. The first and probably the most common reason is that person is actually left-handed in real life. The second is that people think their shot looks a lot cleaner when they make their player left-handed as opposed to right-handed. The third, some people believe that left-handed players can shoot the ball better than right-handed players. This is something that's been going on in the 2K community for years, so I wanted to finally put it to the test and see if there's actually a noticeable difference in your shooting when choosing a left-handed player as opposed to a right-handed player. Now for this test, I'm actually using a Mata controller because I wanted to completely eliminate any type of human error. That way, if I end up missing a shot, it's not because I didn't time it correctly or anything like that. So as you can see here, we have a creative player with very average stats all across the board. Now we don't really care about any of these stats. The only one we're worried about is shooting. So as you can see, this player has a 75 three-point rating and also, I wanted to let you know that this player has no badges and no hot zones. Now this test was done on superstar difficulty and I decided to take 100 shots from the corner as well as 100 shots from the top of the key. 50 of those corner shots were with the left handed player and then after 50 shots I would edit the player and change his dominant hand to be right handed and then take 50 more shots. And of course I did the same thing at the top of the key. So the entire sample size was about 200 shots. Alright so starting off with the corner shots with our right handed player, out of the 50 shots taken taken with the 75 three point rating and with the Mata controller, I was able to make 39. Now out of those 39 made shots, 34 of those were excellent releases. And of course this means that I ended up missing 11 corner three point shots with our right handed player. So out of the 50 shots taken with our right handed player, I was able to make about 78% of them. Now moving on to our left handed player, out of the 50 shots taken, I actually made 36. So that's actually a little lower than our right handed player, but once again, nothing too crazy or super notable. There. Now 31 out of those 36 shots were excellent releases and I ended up missing 14 shots total with our left handed player. Now I wasn't quite done with my test yet because I wanted to take some shots at the top of the key and see if there was a significant difference there. So once again I took 50 shots with our right handed player at the top of the key and out of those 50 shots I was able to make 36. So a little bit lower than what our right handed player was able to do in the corner but we were still able to shoot around 72%. Now 30 out of those 36 six shots were excellent releases and I ended up missing 14 shots total once again. So that's almost identical to what our left handed player was able to do in the corner but we still have one more test. So finally we took 50 more shots with our left handed player at the top of the key and out of those 50 shots I was able to make exactly 36 yet again. 32 out of those 36 shots were excellent releases and once again I ended up missing 14 shots total. So if we look at all the totals next to each other you can see that there is almost most little to no difference in shooting when it comes to using a left-handed player as opposed to a right-handed player. So if you're one of those people that makes their players left-handed because you believe it gives you a boost in shooting, I'm here to tell you that that is not the case. If you want a boost in shooting, make sure you have the right badges equipped, make sure you're using your hot zones correctly, make sure you turn off your shot meter, and probably most importantly, make sure you're timing your jump shot correctly. Anyways, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on post notifications to know exactly when the next video is uploaded. Right, I'm out.